Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have metal geometric cat ears on my head. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite foundation brushes. A lot of brushes have come and go throughout my life, um, but these are kind of like my current go-to favorite foundation brushes. I have a lot of brushes, you guys. But I have to say foundation brushes are my most favorite type of brushes to buy, to have, to use, to try. Once upon a time, I wasn't even into makeup brushes. I didn't think it was like worth spending so much money on them, like investing into makeup brushes. I thought makeup itself was way more fun and exciting and like fun to buy, which is like kind of true. But over the years, I grew this crazy obsession, love, and respect for makeup brushes. Yes, I have a lot of makeup brushes, but I also like to use a different brush every time I do my makeup until I wash it. I know that's weird, but it's also sanitary, and I just grew accustomed to doing that, so having a lot of brushes comes in handy because I would be washing my brushes like every day. <laughs> I have all my brushes in my mermaid mug ready to share with you guys, but before I do, I just quickly want to say this video is not going to be too drawn out because in reality, a lot of these brushes are very similar, they look similar, they all do the job the same way, so it's gonna be very repetitive for me to say, oh, this one's really soft, this one does this, this one, does this. it's gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna go through them really quickly, tell you guys the names, the brands, everything, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. First brush is from BH Cosmetics. It says the number three on it. I believe that this came in a rose gold collection. Not sure if they sell this separately, but oh my gosh, I love this brush so much. Whether it's honestly for a liquid foundation or even powder, I really love this brush. It's super, super soft. It's a flat top kabuki. It's dense enough to apply your foundation, but not too hard where it's like causing streaks on your face. So I really love this brush. It's so soft. I love it. The whole collection is actually really really nice don't sleep on bh cosmetics brushes you guys they're great this next brush is a long time favorite i used to use this when i was a makeup artist on my clients and i kid you not every single time somebody would ask me what brush are you using it's like the softest thing in the world it just applies makeup flawlessly it's amazing i cannot get enough i repurchased this so many times i've had like six of them lying around at all times it's just amazing this is from bedelium tools it's a 957 brush Wow. To be honest, the whole Bedellium Tools brush line is amazing. Really, really good quality brushes for really good prices. They're not like too extreme and they're not too low. They're just like kind of that in between and I really like them a lot. So this brush, 100% is one of my favorites. I will never stop repurchasing them. It's the best. This next brush is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's called the Ultimate Blending Brush. I love this brush so much. I have like 10 of them in my collection. Not only is the price freaking amazing, like it is so affordable, but the quality of this brush is better than a lot of high-end brushes I own and I just can never get enough of this. So, so soft. It has kind of like a domed kabuki style to it. Really nice, perfect density. It doesn't like soak up all your makeup and it doesn't leave streaks. It's just... Oh, and it's so soft. Next up, we have the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. Love this brush so much. I know I'm going to keep saying that over and over. Obviously, these are all my favorites, so I'm going to stop saying that. But if it's on a flat top kabuki, then it's going to be like one of these round kabukis. Luxie has amazing quality brushes as well for really good prices. I've never had any of these break or fall apart on me, which is great. So this is definitely another favorite. Next up, we have the Morphe MB8 brush. Again, has that round top kabuki. Just really like brushes like this. Really, really soft, amazing, applies foundation beautifully. We have another Morphe brush. This is the E31. I really like this brush because it is a flat top kabuki, but it's a lot bigger. Like I'll show you next to my Bedellium Tools. You can see that's gonna cover a lot more surface area, but it's not like super dense. Again, just really, really soft and it just really gets in there. I really like this brush. This next brush is also from Morphe and I've only used it once, but I already know I really, really like it. This is the Morphe Y6 from the Gold series. It's just like, again, a flat top kabuki. It's really soft. It applies foundation beautifully. I love it a lot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. This next brush I've had for probably six to eight years. I don't even know anymore, but this is one of the oldest brushes I owned. And you wouldn't even be able to tell because it's in such good condition. This is the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. This was the jam back in the day. Everyone had this. Um, I also had the F86. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a flat top kabuki version of this love that too cannot find it for the life of me i don't know where it is or else that would be in this video but this is my long time favorite i've had this probably longer than any brush i've owned but 
love this brush. Come to think of it, this next brush I've had for a really, really long time as well. I ordered it from Amazon in a brush set. I don't know if you can still find it. Maybe. Um, I'll definitely link it down below if I can find it. But this is from RC Cosmetics. I don't know. Um, it doesn't say anything else on it, but this is an amazing brush. It's a round top kabuki style brush. It's so, so good. So soft. Again, applies wonderfully. I've had this for 100 years really great. I have another Morphe brush. This is the E6 brush. Love. I also have one that's a little bit more rounded. I use that for powder foundations and it's freaking amazing. But for foundation, this is amazing. I really love this a lot compared to the other one I shared with you guys, the E31. You can tell it's a lot smaller. Definitely a lot smaller. So I kind of go in between all these brushes. Obviously, they're all my favorite, but I really like these. We have one last brush left. This is from Smashbox. It's called the Full coverage foundation brush. I love it so very much. It's a little bit different than all the other brushes I shared with you guys because it kind of has a little angle to it. And I love that angle for really getting underneath the eyes. That thinner pointy part gets under there so well. So it's really easy to do under eye concealer. Amazing. Amazing. So freaking soft. So smooth. Has a perfect density. I feel like this is probably one of the shorter of foundation brushes I have. And love it so much. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite foundation brush is and also if you guys like this type of video please let me know if you want me to do more favorite types of brushes, top five, top tens of makeup, things like that. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jesse Beauty, Snapchat, Jesse Jet, Makeup by Jesse on Instagram, whoa, backwards, Instagram. Makeup by Jesse. It's been a long day. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate it so very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!